thank you very much for letting me for letting me speak, and I'll try and be brief. I have a lot to say, but I'll be brief as I can. Um, this is my third time. I was here the first time. I have some concerns. Some of them are depressing. One of them is that this is tentative. We need to get active. We need to get growth. We need to solve the problems of money or whatever the state or the local municipality says that we need. Because we need to encourage participation. We have multiple groups that we represent, and one of them, the union, just spoke up. The elderly, the poor, okay? But our main purpose has to be, and I refer you to an article in Times, October 10th, Times Magazine, October 10th, the revival of the middle class. No matter where we go or what we do, America needs us to revive the middle class. We cannot continue as we are going. This movement is our hope. And if you dwindle, then I'm afraid there is little hope. So, there are some problems. If it's getting the finance, we need to speak up and we need to support. If it's getting our neighbors out, we need to get them out. There were a number of opinions in the news press today. There has been a number previously. And I would like to refer you to one about religion. Now, I just came back from 21st century collaboration. That's over in Dunbar. It represents a number of uh, zip codes or area codes, zip codes that are depressed. The same theme continues year after year. Now, I listened to some of the conversation. The conversation was about religious unity and how unity could lift up. That's been going on for years. So I asked them, how do you explain the conservative movement religion who is opposed to the very principles that you represent. How do you approach? And they are the religion th that represents us. Okay? Um, one, last, one last point. Please read the opinions. Please keep it going. Support the movement. Get your neighbors out. Okay? There is a cola increase coming up next year. Did you also read in the news press last week a 95-year-old male who was bagging at Walmart? It was at Publix. It was a praise story. That shouldn't exist in America. A 95-year-old male should be living his life in leisure. Let's move on. It's going to be eaten up by the increase in Medicare fees. Believe me, we should be against that. How can the bottom air, uh, uh, income area afford that? I know they can't afford that. So we have to speak up. We have to represent the elderly. Thank you. Yeah. Hello? Okay, well, we're waiting for our next speaker. I just do want to make this point, guys. We can all do something. I've researched local banks and credit unions, Wells Fargo and Citibank. If you got money in there, let's get it out. If you, if you have Social Security, it'll take a month to get that done, so make sure you know your timing and get it, get it going, guys. Yeah.